Greetings from Tokyo, my dear, dear friends. This is Daisuke, and I very much hope that this video finds you well and in very, very good spirits wherever you are in the world. And now I'd like to focus on my favorite Criterion Collection box set releases of 2020. There were a number of box sets that were released this year, and they all were excellent for their own specific reasons. And because of that, making this list was very difficult, but I thought it might be fun to try to come up with a list of top five favorite box set releases from the Criterion Collection this year. For purposes of this list, I have not counted any releases that are in digipack form. Digipacks are, in a certain sense, boxes, but uh, those I have not counted. So I've uh, considered, in essence, something that has uh, that's in a box and has, say, a number of discs or a number of films associated with it. And so with those very generally established criteria, please now let me share with you my top five favorite box sets from this year. Number five is this, which is Spy number 342 in terms of the box. This is Eric Romare's Six Moral Tales. And I like this because the Six Moral Tales box set returns to the Criterion Collection. As we know, it had been a DVD release, but now we get this form in uh, with new 2K restorations. And we also get everything intact as far as what we got in terms of the earlier blue, uh, DVD release, including the book, which is also a good thing. Uh, reading the book is, is uh, very helpful and very informative and very insightful uh, in its own way. So it's wonderful to have this return to the Criterion Collection in this great re-release, as it were, this great resurrection of this important set of films from Eric Romare. This is my number five favorite box set from this year, Eric Romare's Six Moral Tales. Number four, uh, my fourth favorite box set release. This is a splendid, splendid release. And I think this could have been uh, number one on any other given day, but just for purposes of today, this is number four. But still, this is really, really high up there. And I'm so th so thrilled that these films are in the Criterion Collection in the form that they are in this great set. And it's this. Bruce Lee, His Greatest Hits, with the set being at spine number 1036. I absolutely love Bruce Lee films. I love the Criterion presentations here. We get the films, we get a lot of extras that are really fascinating and inter interesting. We also get the theatrical version of Enter the Dragon. Uh, and, of course, we get the Bruce Lee films, uh, his greatest hits, as it were. I just uh, love this so much, and when it came out, and when I was able to explore it, I, was, I felt like I was a kid again, because uh, these films meant so much to me as a kid, and they still mean so much to me, even now. And it was wonderful to see Criterion uh, treat the films the way that they did. Here is my number four favorite box set, Bruce Lee, His Greatest Hits. Number three, uh, my third favorite box set from 2020. And as I say, uh, with the Bruce Lee set, I could have had that at number one uh, on any other given day. The same is true for what I'm about to announce here. This could have been number one yesterday or tomorrow, depending on uh, just when the question would be answered. It just so happens now, this is number three. It is magnificent. It is stellar. It is a miracle or miracolo. And it is, of course, a celebration of the great work by Federico Fellini. This is the box set that is essential Fellini. This is uh, great because it, of course, collects the films that we had seen in the Criterion Collection on past individual releases, plus it has a few new films, and we also have the restorations, and we also have the supplements 
and we have this overall celebration of the artist and master that is Federico Fellini. So uh, a wonderful, uh, huge box set to the Criterion Collection this year. Strongly, strongly recommended. This is Essential Fellini. Number two, my second favorite box set from this year. And as I say, with the previous announcements or the previous box sets that I mentioned, I could have had this one as well at number one. But it just so happens that uh, there's another box set that I want to speak to in a moment. But still, this is top notch. This is stellar. This is strongly, strongly recommended. And this is the reason why Criterion is so great because it releases box sets like this. I'm talking about this. The complete films of Agnes Varda. This set is brilliant. It's so fun and engaging and it you get a sense of Varda, the person, the artist, the human being, uh, and her warmth and her generosity and her uh, intelligence and dedication, her ferocious and uh, unyielding dedication to this art form, which we call cinema. This is a great set, my friends. Please, please consider getting this if you are interested, and the films are magnificent. This is the complete films of Agnes Varda. And that means my number one choice right now as to my favorite box set from 2020. As I say, it was a very difficult choice because there were so many great box sets that I uh, mentioned before. And as I also mentioned, any of those sets could have been my top choice on a given day or a given moment in time. But this set, my goodness, this set is is so... Uh, it's like a, a, a treasure chest. And when I opened the treasure chest and I saw the, the gold that was before me, I was so dazzled and I felt like uh, just everything uh, came into being. And I saw the films and I was so stunned and blown away by them. And so I'm so glad that they're gathered in this box set, which is this. Martin Scorsese's World Cinema Project number three. I've said it before, but I'll say it again. I'm a huge fan of these sets, and um, uh, but I really tried to think uh, hard during this listing to think about this set in particular. So I tried my best to make sure that my love of the previous sets didn't sway me this year, if you know what I mean. But that being said, I still came through with this as my top choice because of the films that are included and the way that they are presented. Um, this is a collection of films. Uh, these films are, each and every one of them, a, a, a kind of uh, a wondrous thing. And they each have their own set of styles and themes and concerns. Some of them are very difficult. Some of them are very lyrical and poetic, and others are like a breath of fresh air. And I saw the films, and I was just, I was uh, so moved by what I was seeing, and uh, how they are presented, how they are described, how they are discussed, and how they are treated, and how they are gathered here is uh, just uh, uh, one of a kind, uh, brilliant, brilliant stuff. Uh, this is a great continuation of this great series, and I'm so glad that number three is, uh, is uh, released like this. This is my number one favorite box set from 2020, Martin Scorsese's World Cinema Project number three. Okay, my friends, so that's it for now. And so until we meet again, please be happy and healthy and well. And please keep on watching a lot of great, great movies. See you at the next video. But until then, my friends, thank you and cheers.